So, good morning, dear ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, dear friends, very warm welcome and many thanks for joining the 21st International Conference on Emerging Technologies and Factory Automation held in Berlin. My name is Jürgen Jaspernaiter. I'm one of the two general co-chairs of the ETFA 2016. Before I want to introduce uh, the hosting institutions uh, a little bit more in detail, it is a pleasure for me to give the floor to our honorary chair, Professor Raimund Neugebauer. He is the president of the Fraunhofer Society. Thank you very much, Professor Jaspernaite, ladies and gentlemen. Also from my side as the president of Fraunhofer, special welcome, warm welcome here in Berlin uh, to this conference. I think we in the Fraunhofer Association, we are honored and proud that we can be the host of this conference. And uh, I think if you look to our portfolio in research in Fraunhofer, uh, you can see we have very good preconditions uh, in our portfolio, for, for example, production technologies, mechatronics, microelectronics, information and communication technologies, material sciences, and all of this, I think, are very important for your cooperation here in uh, this uh, network of uh, IEEE conference. And uh, we have in this research field 50 institutes from our, nearly 50 institutes from our 67 institutes in front of our association. And uh, Professor Jasper, Jasper Nath, I congratulate you that uh, you have uh, the chance that Fraunhofer uh, can be the host for the conference and uh, that we all together can have in the next two days strong network, new ideas and cooperation projects in the future. And uh, also from my side, uh, I think I have to thank all the organizers on the right and on the left side, the co chairmen and the organizing committee. Thank you very much. And uh, I wish you all, us all together, very successful discussions, new contacts, and new ideas for new projects. Thank you very much. OK, thank you very much, <laughs> Professor Neugebauer. The next speaker is um, uh, Mr. Surovsky. Mr. Surovsky, I think, is well known in this community. He is, uh, I think the ETFA is your baby, right? In this sense, yes. Yeah, in this sense, yes. And uh, he is also a general co-chair and he will uh, spend some words to us um, on behalf of the IEEE. Richard. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, distinguished guests, uh, dear attendees, I can see uh, many faces who have been attending this conference uh, for years. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this particular edition is uh, sponsored by IEEE, uh, which was mentioned by uh, our host, Professor Jasper Knight. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, this conference, or ETFA conference series, has been sponsored from the very beginning by IEEE and uh, always regarded as a very important asset. Uh, perhaps not many people know about that because uh, certain things are seldom disclosed, but ETFA conference series was the IEEE answer to the Japanese intelligent manufacturing systems program, uh, which ran in, uh, from mid-1980s through 1990s. Uh, it happened that uh, I had the pleasure and uh, honor to uh, be to chair some of the projects uh, towards the end of 1990s and uh, uh, towards the end of 1980s. Sorry, and 1990s and some of those projects were on a global scale, scale involving partners from the United States, Canada, Germany, France, and of course Japan. I also had the pleasure, of course, entrusted by Japanese side to run some of those internal in Japan IMS projects. For those who are not perhaps familiar with the term IEEE, 
and I guess uh, I presume that most of you know what it is. Uh, the acronym IEEE stands for Institute for Electrical, well, Electrical, Electronics uh, Engineers. Initially, uh, of the United States, but now also incorporated in Europe as a limited liability company. Uh, IEEE has got tremendous impact on technical activities worldwide. Uh, I guess most of you are familiar with the uh, IEEE standardization processes and projects. Membership, close to half a million, also worldwide. Uh, Europe has got uh, sizable contingents contingent within when it comes to the membership. Actually, some of the societies in IEEE are dominated by European members. Well, uh, on, uh, on behalf of the IEEE management, I'd like to wish you successful conference and uh, good stay in this nice city of Berlin. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Richard. And um, Richard told me I don't have to spend too much words to introduce Berlin because I think it's a well-known and vibrant and uh, booming town, but to introduce our host uh, organizations a little bit more in detail. And I uh, will pick up this chance. Um, our institutes, or the hosting institutes, um, are the uh, Fraunhofer Application Center for Industrial Automation and the Institute for uh, information technologies of the OWL uni um, University, and you see on this slide that uh, OWL is not in Berlin, it, but it is uh, 300 kilometers west of it. But the uh, good uh, thing about OWL is that um, it is one of the most important uh, regions in Germany if it comes to machinery and industrial electronics. And um, this region is also uh, growing up to a technology region because um, we are very lucky that we won in 2012 um, in the competition of the German government uh, the contest of uh, leading edge technology clusters where we um, run a lot of different projects. You see, it, the, you see the figures on the slide with a volume of about 100 million euro. So it um, helps all the small and medium sized uh, companies to shape the future of digitalization. And within this region we have three uh, regional hubs, which are more or less the uh, university locations, and one of these uh, locations is the location of Lemgo, which is a very small town, but it's also very nice and has a longer history than Berlin. And um, in this um, small city we are located with uh, our hub, and this is organized as a science to business center. And you see we have uh, two driving uh, research organizations which are also the host of this uh, ETFA edition. But also we have um, R&D departments of uh, all these companies um, which you also see on this slide. And we run a science to business center which is quite unique in the context of industrial automation where all these companies and the research institutes are working under one roof. So we have uh, about 200, 250 uh, experts in the field of intelligent automation which are working here um, in this field, which is, of course, very close related to the topics of the ETFA. So in um, one of the, um, let's say, very recent um, enhancements is what we call Smart Factory OWL. It is, first of all, a building, but it is only the hardware. But we try to set up a research platform for um, our research projects. That's, I think, straightforward. But also we uh, use it as a platform for qualification and training if it comes to Industry 4.0 issues. And uh, we are also involved in a, a German-wide initiative to bring Industry 4.0 into small and medium-sized companies. And therefore, we have also a small, we call it SME enabler, where we try to pick up companies and give them assistance, first of all, in terms of information. Afterwards, we try to give them some hands-on experiences uh, with demonstration. And at, at the end, we try to deploy all this individual 
pieces of industry 4.0 into their individual production floor processes and business models. So in, uh, for this, um, we offer um, a real-world production equipment, but we are not, um, like Professor Neugebauer, we are not mechanical engineers, but we are computer scientists and electrical engineers, so we are not so, um, let's say, so familiar with mechanical production equipment, but we know something about uh, ICT-based solutions, so that we have a real-world equipment equipped with ICT uh, by us in the areas of intelligent network, data analytics, and also com uh, advanced computer interaction. So and, uh, this may give you a brief introduction to the host organizations, which are not located in Berlin, but we love Berlin because it's a very uh, nice city. And uh, you are also invited to visit us uh, if we are interested to see something more or um, you are interested in more details. Thank you very much. Enjoy this conference. Um, in Berlin, we ordered also very good weather conditions, so everything is perfect, so that could become a very good conference. Thank you very much. So now, uh, Mr. Obermeister is uh, one of the two program committee chairs, will give us some information about the technical pro program and uh, some uh, figures. Um, his colleague um, Holger Foss is uh, somewhere, he is over there. Uh, you saw him in the picture, but um, Roman will give us uh, some information. Good morning, I would like to welcome you on behalf of the technical program committee. Uh, the ETFA conference is uh, among the major international events in the area of industrial automation and related emerging technologies. So it's really a great platform for reporting recent research from both academia and industry. And in particular, if we look at this year's contributions, then we see cutting edge, re cutting edge research. Uh, we see many major contributions that are presented for the first time. Uh, and we also see cross-cutting issues, challenges that show up in different areas, that show up in different tracks of the conference. Uh, one example are the adaptive network systems that are flexible, decentralized, interoperable, as discussed yesterday, and as they will also be discussed today uh, in the context of Industry uh, 4.0, uh, where there is a tremendous desire for contributions, not just on the level of new business models, but also on the technical side, where we need new technical contributions, and technical contributions in this area are presented at the conference. For example, looking at uh, new dependable and real-time capable networks that are adaptable, intelligent sensing solutions, control approaches, or the integration with knowledge-based and semantic techniques or new design methodologies. So these are just a few examples of the very exciting uh, technical contributions that we'll see in this conference in the contributions. ETFA is traditionally a multi-track conference. So you see here that we have research topics in different areas. So we focus on information technology and automation. Uh, we focus on industrial communication systems, real-time and networked embedded systems, industrial control, computational intelligence, heuristics, intelligence sensors, processing, uh, as well as energy systems. So these are the tracks where we will see these fascinating contributions today and in the coming days. Let me also give you a few statistics. So this year we received a total number of 217 submissions with excellent technical content from more than 40 countries. Uh, all submissions were thoroughly reviewed by the program committee members and by external reviewers. Uh, we then had 125 contributions that were finally accepted as full papers and 13 papers in three special sessions and also 25 papers originally submitted as long papers were then invited uh, for the work in progress sessions. Each paper was assigned to at least three reviewers to ensure high quality and a thorough review process. And the result is the program that you also uh, have uh, looked at in, in your 
uh, handouts where you see that we have uh, on the one side parallel sessions with regular papers, with special sessions, with work in progress contributions, and we have fascinating keynote presentations of uh, distinguished experts. So. Today, you see here that we'll have keynotes of Raimund Neugebauer on Industry 4.0, uh, also a keynote of Rolf Ernst from Theo Braunschweig on Automotive Ethernet. Also tomorrow, there will be uh, parallel sessions on regular papers and work in progress papers, and keynotes of John Barras from University of Maryland on the Next Wanda, MBSE, from ideas to making products and services, and Wolfgang Nagel from TU Dresden on big data and beyond. And on the last day, we'll have, in addition to the regular paper sessions, also sessions for special sessions, and also uh, a keynote by Alf Isaacson from EVP on automatic control and the future challenges, solutions, and systems. I would I would also like to use this opportunity to express uh, our gratitude, uh, in particular to the individual track chairs who are a key pillar of the conference. Uh, also, thanks to the chairs of the special sessions and uh, uh, work in progress tracks, and appreciation to the excellent cooperation with the general co chairs, and of course, thank you uh, to the authors for their submissions and for the reviewers for the thorough review process of EDFA. I wish you a great conference. Okay, thank you, Roman, for the report of the program committee chairs. And now we move to the work in progress chair. And uh, Lukas Wisniewski, also coming from the one of the hosting organizations, will give an overview. And the other one, Sebastian Schriegel, is also over there. So, uh, Lukas, please um, give us some information about work in progress. Thank you. Um, we would like to also welcome you today, TFA 2016, together with my colleague Sebastian Schriegel. It was a pleasure for us to be a VIP chair in this year. First of all, we would like to thank all authors for the contributions. Uh, we really got a significant amount of papers in this year. We would like to co um, thank all the reviewers and track chairs for the great uh, cooperation. Um, VIP papers is a very special format uh, which uh, allows the people to really present a preliminary work and discuss it during the conference. Um, it you know helps to let's say figure out some problems in the early stage, some to, to to see some new opportunities. It is a really really good format, especially for the young researchers that are starting their research career, um, to you know give them opportunity to present a, a, new, a work, to get some feedback and and uh, and comments. Um, Therefore, the, the format of presentation is also quite different than in comparison to the regular paper. So we have a five-minute presentation, oral presentation, which is kind of appetizer for, for the paper. And then we have uh, a poster session that is uh, organized during the coffee break, where I can really discuss the, in details um, the, the work that has been done by the authors. So. Um, I really appreciate um, if you really use the time and, and give your feedback and, 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 and involve in the discussions with the authors, because it's really a big help for them to continue with the research and, and, um, and really um, uh, to continue with, with the work. Um, so thank you, uh, all of you, for, for the attendance. And I wish you really pleasant stay in Berlin. Thank you. So no conference um, without social events. We have, uh, let's say, a um, very hard task to follow all the technical stuff in the next days, but we also want uh, to do some socializing. And uh, therefore, our local our organizing chair, Ms. Trinknecht, uh, will give us an overview to the uh, social events, which you can expect uh, within the next uh, three days. Okay. Caroline. Thank you. I would also like to welcome you in the name of the entire organizing team. In addition to the scientific program, we put together three social events for you, which are supposed to lead you to the most attractive places in Berlin. First of all, tonight we start with our welcome reception. Therefore, you will be picked up in front of the conference hotel at 5.15 and be taken to Treptow Harbor, where our boat, the Mark Brandenburg, is waiting for us. During a trip on Berlin's 
most famous waterways, you are able to see legendary sites like the Nikolai Viertel and the Museum Island. Next to the Berliner Dome, the greatest cathedral in Berlin, our boat will be moored. From there, we walk to the Fraunhofer Forum, where our official welcome reception takes part, and some Berlin typical delicious seas and drinks are waiting for us. Tomorrow, the conference dinner leads us to the government district. Next to the German Kanzleramt, the office of the Federal Chancellor, and only a stone's throw away from the German Reichstags building, there is the Tippi am Kanzleramt, our very special dinner location. It is the largest fixed pavilion stage in Europe, and therefore the best stage to award our best papers. The conference dinner starts at 7 p.m. For information on the various ways to reach the TPM Kanzleramt, please uh, visit the EDFA website or ask my colleagues at the help desk just outside this room. On Friday, we have a third optional and not included um, social event. Together, we would like to visit the Pergamon Museum. The Pergamon Museum houses three of Germany's most impressive collections, the antique, the Middle East, and the Islamic art collection. The antique collection is one of the the world's most important collection of Greek and Roman art. The Middle East collection collects artifacts from a 6,000 year time span of cultural history. And the Museum for Islamic Art <coughs> boasts one of the most outstanding collections of Islamic art outside the Islamic world. You are free to book the guided tour through this unique museum at the help desk. The number of participants is limited, so please take the chance and book as soon as possible. The museum's tour will start at 4 p.m. on Friday. With these social events, we hope to offer you an attractive program and a perfect framework, uh, framework to renown old friendships and to make new ones. Thank you for your attention. I wish us all a successful conference. Okay, thank you very much, um, Caroline. So, and um, now we have. Uh, uh, before we close the opening session, we have uh, two additional uh, organizational issues, right, uh, Roman? Yes, I would like to provide some important administrative information. Uh, so first, I uh, would like to ask all session chairs to report to the help desk after the session. So please report to the uh, help desk. Uh, and furthermore, we would like to ask all presenters to upload their presentations to the PCs in the respective rooms of the sessions. Um, we do not want to switch the laptops since this uh, is very wasteful when it comes to time. So we want to use the time for the presentations and the discussions, uh, not for solving incompatibilities between laptops and displays. Uh, the session chairs will be in the rooms of the sessions in the coffee breaks before the start of the respective session. So please. Uh, uh, all, author, all presenters are asked to approach the session chairs to introduce themselves and uh, do this uploading of the presentations. Thank you. Okay, and with this uh, organizational hints, I only can conclude that now the ETFA 2016 is uh, officially opened. And um, we wish you and all participants, a very exciting uh, conference, interesting uh, new ideas and uh, share knowledge and also uh, have an interesting, uh, uh, interesting uh, social events so that we can all together enjoy this um, nice time at uh, the sunny Berlin. Thank you very much. <laughs>